Today I am bringing you something huge, a brand new open source IPA signer, just dropped by none other than Samsam, the brilliant mind behind the Feather app. The best part, it works flawlessly on Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and use it step by step. And yes, it got some powerful integration with SideStore that I'll reveal at the end. So make sure you watch till the end. Visit this GitHub page of Plume Impactor, I will leave the link in description. Now before installing Plume Impactor in Windows computer, it's a must to fulfill the prerequisition, which is to download and install Visual Studio Build with Windows SDK. So click on this hyperlink, and once you are on the website, download the Community Edition, which is absolutely free. Once the .exe file is download, simply launch the same and install the Visual Studio like any other program. Once you reach to this page, out of many workloads, simply select Desktop Development with C++. And on the right side of the page, keep everything checked at default, and also make sure Windows SDK is checked, like you see here, and finally go ahead and install the workloads. It may take a while for the entire resources to get downloaded, meanwhile, please do subscribe to my channel. Once the installation is completed, make sure to restart your computer to apply the changes. Once the device boots up, the next process is to download non-Microsoft version of iTunes. We will download it from Apple Wiki. Link will be available in description. Once you are on the website, navigate to the right section here, click on Windows, and next, click on Versions. Scroll down to the bottom of the list, and click on either 32 and 64-bit, as per your device processor. Now to identify the correct processor, launch the Settings app, and search for device specifications. As you can see, my computer is having 64-bit processor. So go back to the website and download the iTunes .exe file. Once the same is downloaded, simply install iTunes like any other programs. Next, launch iTunes app and connect your iOS device to the computer. Once connected you may get this pop-up on your iOS device's screen. Simply tap on Trust to allow the computer to access your computer. After you have trusted the computer, on the iTunes program, an icon like this should appear. Click on it. And on the next page, scroll down and check the box, which says, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. That's it. Just apply the changes and exit out from iTunes. Next, let's download the Plume Impactor Signer tool. Visit this website, link will be in description. Click on the releases section, and on the next page, under the assets section, Download the latest version of Plume Impactor, supported to run on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now while downloading the file, if you face this issue, simply click on this three-dot icon and select the Keep option, and then click on this drop-down and choose Keep Anyway. Once downloaded, simply install the tool and do the usual setup and launch the Plume Impactor tool. Finally let's sign and sideload IPA file using Plume Impactor tool. Launch the Plume Impactor tool and make sure that your iOS device is connected to the computer. Your device will be recognized by the tool, as shown on the video. Tap on Settings, and log in with your Apple ID and password, which is necessary for signing apps. Once logged in successfully, next, just import any IPA file of your choice. Like in my case, I am using the Melanex app. And finally click on Install. And as you can see the signing process has started. And just in few seconds, the target IPA file will be signed and sideloaded into your iOS device. Now on your iOS device, launch the Settings app, navigate to General and to VPN and Device Management, and simply trust the certificate, which will basically be your Apple ID. Go back and launch the sideloaded app, and as you can see, the app is opening without any issues. Personally for me, the best usage of Plume Impactor is that you can sideload SideStore IPA file and automatically populate the pairing file, therefore you do not need to generate pairing file sparely. If you want a video on that, comment down below. And although the app is very new, but the developer has already released two updates in just a week. And these are the future plans relating to this tool, which includes automatic refresh in the background, TV OS sideloading, and many more. That's it for today. Now if you want to run Nintendo Wii and GameCube games in your Windows computer, watch my next video.